Hello everyone, my name is Carol and this is Winter Haven Wisdom. Today is Wednesday, Dece uh, December, whoo, January 3rd, um, 2024. Um, it's another cool, brisk day where I am, a frosty morning. Um, sky's a little paler today, puffy clouds, in and out sun, but we're going to count it as our 30, third sunny day in a row in this new year. If you live in New England, you know that there hasn't been a lot of sun in 2023. So we're excited to have sun the first few days, right? So um, I started doing your reading before I had hit um, record, unfortunately. So you're going to have to trust me on the energies that I um, pulled down. Um, I'm just uh, separating my deck here. Sorry. Yeah, I know. I, I don't know. I thought I had hit the button, but I must have not pushed it hard enough. So anyways, one of those kinds of days, right? Me and the technology were not jiving lately. <laughs> okay, so I've already said my prayers called in my spirit guides. Um, and first out came, this is um, Sacred Traveler, and first, uh, protected by angels came out, you are cherished beyond belief. And this is such a, a nice energy for me. I love knowing that um, my ancestors and angels are guiding me and with me. And, you know, um, so you know, most of our angels are our ancestors. Um, and then we have the energy of solitude in P. In silence, peace prevails. So you may be meditating or spending some time alone trying to get clarity on something. Then we have breaking trail of breakthrough is at foot. You may be having an epiphany. You may have gotten some illumination on something. Want to make a change in your life, go in a new direction, something like that. And then um, answering the call, the time is now. And this is a message from spirit. Whatever you've been thinking about doing, whatever you want to do, whatever you're considering, now is the time to do it. Okay. All right. So um, when I was meditating on the energy here earlier, I could see the uh, My Way Tarot. And it's the only one of my cards that really has this bright blue energy. And it was just drawing me in. So this is the deck we're going to start with this morning. I hope everyone's doing well. Oops. You're in the wrong place. <laughs> okay, spirit gods. What does the collective need to know for today, Wednesday? What is going on? What do we need to call to their attention? What call do they need to answer here? Okay, we have the Two of Pentacles that came out. Hanged Man. Seven of Pentacles. Strength. King of Cups. Three of Cups, the Devil, or is this, no, this is the Lovers, the Lovers, Five of Cups, Six of Swords, Six of Wands, rather, and Ten of Pentacles. Bottom of our deck is the Hierophant. And the Hierophant is about commitment. It's about balance. It's a spiritual connection. Um, it's traditions in your life, hierarchies in your family, um, and in work situations. It could be 
a legal or court system issue of some kind. Um, but it could be just be somebody very principled with a lot of morality and integrity too, this kind of an energy. Okay, so quick look here. We have one, two, three major arcana cards. And right in the center of the deck, we have this King of Cups energy. Our King of Cups, right, he is um, loving, nurturing, um, giving, um, fatherly, generous, um, balanced in his emotions. But often a King of Cups can be, um, they show their love through action as opposed to actual words. Sometimes they can be emotionally avoidant in a negative side. Okay. All right, so let's run through this. We have somebody in the Two of Pentacles energy. And this is about tossing ideas back and forth, going round and round and round, and maybe never coming to a determination keeping it on the sideline, but always in the back of our mind, driving us crazy, okay? Into the hanged man, somebody is um, trying to get some enlightenment, or this could be just somebody waiting for all this energy to dissipate. And then we have the seven of pentacles, my puppy bite card. This is somebody who's manifesting, who's... Um, working hard, building something in their life, and they're wondering, is it, am I doing things right? Am I in the right direction? Is it time to harvest this and move on? Um, where am I at in this? Then we have spirit here with strength and courage and determination, um, getting past some fears, some things that might be holding somebody back into the King of Cups energy. And then into the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups is a lovely energy of friendship, right? These friends are together. They're having a good time. They're celebrating. This could indicate that an invitation of some kind could be coming to you. This could be, um, you know, uh, an opportunity, an offer of some kind that might come to you. Maybe even um, light communication of some kind, a text message. Okay. Or this is, um, so maybe somebody is realizing that you're friends. Maybe this relationship is just at a friend level. Then we have the lovers. And this is about a choice, a decision in life. Um, this could be around a business situation, around a, re a family situation, around a love situation. Um, this could be somebody wants a love relationship with somebody, okay, wants to leave a love relationship. Five of Cups, um, this is somebody who is um, sad, you know, they've seen everything they dreamed and planned for go down the drain, and they're trying to focus on the one cup they have left and make something happen with that. Um, but often people can get stuck in this sad energy and not go anywhere or do anything. They just are their underneath energy is just sad all the time. And um, with that solitude energy there, you know, spirit is encouraging whoever this is to go deep and deal with some of that um, sadness that somebody has. And our last energy is the six of wands. And this is an energy of victory over something, um, a celebration of some kind. Um, good news, a win in some way. And then we have the Ten of Pentacles. This is commitment. This is um, stability, security, um, inheritance of some kind, perhaps. This is home and family and security and love and abundance. It's, it's the ultimate in where we all want to get to in life at some point, right? Okay, so looking at this, we have somebody trying to make a decision, um, probably in love with the lovers here. 
So, Spirit, tell me about the Two of Pentacles. What is this decision that's getting tossed around? What is happening with this energy? That is the Five of Cups energy. The Eight of Cups walking away. The Two of Cups. And the Queen of Cups. So somebody is tossing around, walking towards their happiness, which would be this Queen of Cups and having a connection with the Queen of Cups. Or this Queen of Cups is tossing around, walking away from a Two of Cups energy towards their happiness. <sighs> Tell me about the Hanged Man. And so now we have a King and Queen of Cups here. This could be balanced energy. Um, this is Archangel Michael keeping someone patient and calm and balanced. What else is going on for the hanged man? So this hanged man is in full energy. They know they're at the end of a cycle, so they're in they're ready to take this new action. Maybe that's the answering the call energy. Um they're thinking about this Three of Cups energy with this Queen of Swords. Okay, tell me about the Seven of Pentacles, please, Spirit. The Seven of Pentacles is the Five of Pentacles. And that's um, somebody feeling abandoned, left out, forgotten, um, somebody mar marginalized left out in the cold. Maybe they are in some kind of lack mentality, whether that be around money or companionship or love. What else about the Seven of Pentacles? They're looking for a wish come true, their ultimate happiness here, Nine of Cups. And then we have the Nine of Pentacles. This is a single, available, confident, abundant, bright person. And they're up in their head. They're trying to make a decision. So we've got two two here already. We've got two nines already. <laughs> two fives. Tell me about strength, please, spirit. Strength is um, maybe healing energy that's coming from a star, um, a wish come true, you know, hang on, don't let go of your dream kind of energy maybe. Knight of Cups. I'm going to be giving this Knight of Cups courage. They're in a Page of Pentacle energy right? Um, somebody on a path to earn, generate pentacles, delivering a message of that. Um, this Knight of Cups is walking, um, walking away towards their happiness. They're letting all the 
This is the Ten of Swords. All those swords from the past go. Um, they're in this Four of Cups energy, this sadness. And in this deck, this Four of Cups is a manifesting energy. Because as we're in our sadness, we imagine what life could be like. And in that imagination, we're manifesting. And then we have a tower energy here. Tell me about the tower energy, please. What is this tower energy? Spirit. This is somebody that is strategizing, um, dealing with some inner conflicts, trying to get ahead, trying to make some good decisions, trying to spark something in their life. Um, this could be competition in work, um, anything like that. What else? Seven of Pentacles, that's somebody uh, manifesting, working. Might be a competitive field or something like that. Okay, so maybe some sort of tower is going to happen here around Seven of Pentacles. Okay, tell me about the King of Cups. King of Cups is in the Knight of Swords energy. He's moving forward in a fast way. He's looking for a victory or success in some way. And that would be the Emperor who maybe has um, um, energy of passion and creativity and desire um, and he's in the knight of pentacles energy too so we have a knight of pentacles and a knight of swords so maybe this knight of pentacles is going to get moving a little faster now anything else there for the king of cups So now we know we've got an emperor here. Tell me about the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups is the Ten of Pentacles. What else about the Three of Cups? Knight of Wands, somebody on a passionate and creative path who's looking for some justice or for things to be more balanced. And that's an energy of mirroring too, right? Like you could be in a mirroring situation with someone. Three of Cups is also an opportunity for a reciprocal relationship, balance in a relationship, happiness in a relationship, Ten of Cups. And that's the Hanged Man energy, all of that. Three of Cups. And we did see the Three of Cups up ahead in the uh, first Hanged Man we had. So that's a whole repeating direction. Tell me about the Lovers, please. The 
the lovers is the nine of wands and that's somebody who's guarded um, standing their ground um, selective with who they let in maybe stubborn And that would be the King of Cups again. And he's in the Two of Pentacles, going back and forth and back and forth. So we have the Queen of Pentacles up there with that back and not. Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, also had the um, Two of Pentacles energy up there. And here, and I just talked about the marrying energy, right? So is this King of Cups doing the same thing? Um, he's thinking about the lovers. She's thinking about the soul connection. What else is going on here with the lovers? Eight of Pentacles. This could be something around work or a wanting to work on the situation. Or this um, King of Cups is undecided about his work situation. Or hyperly focused on his work situation debating it back and forth. What should I do here? And then we have the lovers again. So a strong message of a decision here. And now is the time, right? That's the message from Spirit. Page of Cups, the initial love offer. death and rebirth of a situation here. Four of Wands, this is um, foundation stability in our life, um, coming together, celebrating something, the 1111 card. Queen of Pentacles here. So she may be looking for some stability. She's in the Eight of Swords, that mirroring energy. Confusion up in their head, not knowing what's going on. Tell me about the Five of Cups. Five of Cups is the Ace of Cups. Oh, how can having an Ace of Cups make you so sad? Or you're sad that you're... Hmm. You should be really happy. And then um, that's the Ten of Wands and the Empress. Ten of Wands is putting down a heavy burden. Maybe the burden is not making the offer. Or the Empress has this cup of love for someone. But they're not accepting it. And we have someone here in a fool-like energy. Um, on a path of some kind. Happy and excited, so maybe this Empress is the one that's excited. That would be the truth. 
she is excited. She's happy about what she's doing, where she is. Tell me about the Six of Wands. That is the Devil. That is the High Priestess. That is the Moon Energy. Um, wow, <laughs> Those are, that's three major arcana cards there. Look at this. Maybe this high priestess is obsessed with what she doesn't know. Or we're getting, she's kind of transmuting some energy to get out of this fear state. Obsession state. Tell me more about um, the Six of Wands. Queen of Wands. Okay, and tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is a big energy here. This is out twice, too. The Ten of Pentacles is the Seven of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. So someone is leaving something behind. Maybe they're leaving behind a commitment of some kind. Magician. The hermit. The hermit who is wise and goes within with a magician energy, transmuting energy, manifesting. Okay, what else do we want to look at? Tell me about the devil here. What is the devil energy spirit for this queen of wands or whoever this is? The Hierophant. So maybe this devil is uh, afraid to approach the Empress who may be in the Hierophant energy. What else there with the devil and the Hierophant? What is that? Somebody in Five of Swords. Angry, fearful, Confused, aggravated, stressed. Up in their head about coming together to solve, to heal a situation. Okay, when I stop shuffling here, we have the Seven of Cups, and that's a choice that has to be made. Spirit is saying to who, whether this is the Empress or the Emperor, somebody has to, the time is now to take action on something. Um, and this last energy that fell out, we've got a commitment, right? This is a commitment. This is stability, all of that. And we have this energy of somebody that is leaving a commitment or going towards a commitment. The Wheel of Fortune is here. Change is coming. I don't know what direction this is going to go. And then the Magician manifesting and this guy getting some illumination. So the energy may be going this way, right? The change comes in. 
he leaves something behind and goes towards his stability. Right, the um, in silence, peace prevails, getting some illumination in the hanged man, because we know that the hermit is in the hanged man up here. Um, and we know he's in a fool energy. Okay, so let's take... We'll go back to my way tarot. What spirit, what is the outcome for this reading today? What's the takeaway for the collective? What do they need to know? Five of swords. Somebody's up in their head. Somebody's in conflict, trying to leave it behind. Somebody's angry. They're in the page of swords energy. Where's this wands? Swords, right? So this can be that spying energy. What else, spirit? The high priestess is here. Justice is here. Bringing in fairness and balance. And the Wheel of Fortune, something's changing. Wow, we have the Wheel of Fortune and the outcome. What is changing here, Spirit? What is the wheel moving? Changing is the Seven of Wands. Somebody's letting their guard down. Go towards an empress with an ace of pentacles. And be reciprocal. Wow. <laughs> the sun, happiness. Two of wands plan. Nine of wands. Judgment. So we have justice and judgment here. And patience. It's, it's just still not time. But it's one step closer, right? And that's what we have going on here. Um, we have the full moon. And, you know, a real big energy that's going to happen, and I think it happens around the 20th of the month, is when... Pluto moves into Aquarius, and Pluto is an energy of a generation, right? Um, the last time it moved was in 2008, and um, I know it's going to be in Aquarius for a little while, and then it pops back into Capricorn, I think, in November, and then in January, again, it moves back into Aquarius, where it stays for the next you know, I don't know if it's 15 or 20 years, something like that, for a long time anyways. And that energy alone could be hugely um, transformative. It goes from, there's a lot of tradition and rules and structures in Capricorn that don't, that aren't part of Aquarius. Aquarius is a freer energy. It's more about we than I. And um, it, that might be the bolt of energy that this person is going to need. You figure we have the full moon 
energy around the 11th or 12th and like a week later we have this change and this energy could just be so intense that it's going to um, get this fool to, to take this action, answer this call. So I'll run through this for you. Um, the masculine here is still in this Five of Swords energy. Um, so who's ever in the masculine energy? Um, they're still fearful, angry, upset about a situation in some way. And then um, they're spying and they're in this aggressive energy. Um, High Priestess is they're watching, obviously, watching and the High Priestess. They're trying to figure out when the best time, when the energy is right for them to make a move and bring in some justice or use their judgment and turn the wheel of fortune, okay? So that's the real outcome here for one person. <laughs> for another, we still have someone guarded, right? Um, it might be the Empress here that's guarded. And she has this Ace of Pentacle energy about her. Um, she wants a reciprocal relationship. She's in happiness and joy and success. She has her Two of Wands. She's made her ask out into the universe and she's waiting to receive it. She has her guards up, right? She's selective about energies. She's spiritually protected by angels. And um, judgment is coming in for this situation. And to stay patient. That um, So I think this is the Divine Feminine here. And um, this is the Divine Masculine going through some change. And you stay patient. Let it all play out. I know I say the same thing every day. It feels like a broken record here. Um, and maybe the message to you, um, Divine Feminine, is that you need to maybe drop some of this guarded energy. Maybe it's it's it could be putting a barrier out you know, like preventing somebody from getting into you. So how do you relax your your boundaries? Open yourself up more. You know, welcome this kind of love. Have an, an open, welcoming love. And I would say with the Queen of Cups energy here, with the Two of Cups, you're, you're in a pretty um, open love kind of energy. Um, you just might be standing firm in what you want. And that's kind of what the, um, that's what this nine of wands energy is. All right, let's get sacred forest and see what we can do here for you all. Um, Divine Feminine, you're clearly in your Empress energy. Stay high vibing. Keep your energy high. Your Divine Masculine is here and he's going through, um, you know, this last bit of healing. He's getting this illumination and he's right at the point, right? The breakthrough is at hand. He's going to be answering the call. So when this wheel turns... You can expect some communication, I guess. Okay, spirit guides. What can we send the collective away with for inspiration, for higher level energies, for consideration and thinking? Wizard of the Wards, focus. Focus on what you want. Stay focused, okay? Stay focused. Keep manifesting. Focus. Focus your energy, okay? 
What else? Playful spirit, right? Keep your vibe high. Keep vibing high. Be light. Be friendly. Be happy. Be outgoing. Be loving. Be giving. New beginnings are coming in um, for you all. Um, a bright, happy time. We've got the sun out here, loud. The sun, it's coming in. Just stay patient. Air spirit. The truth of a situation. Information coming in. Communication. Knowledge. Okay. Coming in. Stability is coming in, okay? Stability. And there will be communication around stability. So we have an air spirit and an earth spirit. This could be a, an air sign and an earth sign coming together here. Foggy Bay, patience. <laughs> And, you know, patience is the key here, right? It has been for a long time. Um, staying open to receive. Generosity. Have a spirit of generosity. Um, and protection. Know that you are protected, okay? Nothing is going to happen to you. You're protected. Bottom of the deck is starry night and acceptance. Um, you have to accept that this is the situation. This is, you know, you have to have radical acceptance. Radically accept that this is where this situation is. And the wheel of fortune is here. This person has an opportunity to answer the call. Is he going to answer the call? Who knows, right? But somebody here is in a, in um in this hang man energy with three of cups and this fool energy in a new cycle regardless of what this masculine is doing if this is the divine feminine energy you are still in a new cycle and you're being patient in your own cycle and uh, what you have going for yourself stay focused on your stuff okay let both of you have to stay focused on your own things and let this play out. Okay. And Divine Feminine, I would just take a look at your boundaries. You know, are you over, are you over protected um, in some way? Are you not open in a way you need to be? Okay. So consider that. All right, everyone. That's the reading I have for you today. Um, sending light and love to everyone. Hold on to your love. I think it's coming. It'll be coming in soon. Soon enough. Remember, January is the setup month, okay? Take care, everyone. Thank you for supporting the channel. And if you're new here, um, take a moment and subscribe so you get notified of future readings, okay? Thank you, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.